you know, there's the overpayment scandal in the Pac-12 under Larry Scott's watch. You know that Comcast uh, was over was over uh, overpaid, and and uh, you know the, the the executives at the Pac-12 network uh, didn't uh, report it, didn't follow proper procedure uh, and and, pro- and protocol. Uh, so and now that money has to be paid back, so it's going to be taken out of you know all the revenue uh, projections. Uh, so that that's a really really bad mess. So does that scandal, is that scandal going to carry some collateral damage? Is that going to cause any member school to say, you know, F it, you know, maybe we need to give a a second thought to leaving for the Big 12. I'm not predicting it. I'm not saying it's likely, but who knows? Like, because you, you take a toxic event like that overpayment scandal and you throw it into this volatile cocktail of realignment and what should we do? What's best for our school? Where where should our home be? You know, is this giving administrators at the Arizona schools or maybe even at Utah a second thought? Uh, Colorado as well. Is this giving the four corner schools reason to reconsider what they do? And like, is Brett Yormark, you know, waiting at the door, seeing if he can poach uh, two or maybe all four of those schools and give the death blow to the Pac-12, you know, because of this scandal? Like I wouldn't completely dismiss it as a possibility. Uh, again, don't think it's likely, but can we completely rule it out in the, in this modern age? Seeing what we've seen, knowing what we've known, I don't think we can. So just a, just a little pinch of drama in the room because of that overpayment scandal with Comcast in the Pac-12.